Hi, and welcome to your rooming list tutorial. We're first starting off on the director instructions page. You can see this tab down below next to summary. This page indicates when the rooming list is due. Right here, it says no later than March 20th, 2020 in this example. This is when you would send it back to the coordinator. You will see that there are three tabs below, single, double, and triple. Here they are down below. And on each tab, you'll fill out the following. On the double tab only, you will indicate the number of beds needed. And on all the other, on all tabs, you'll write traveler's name, specialty dietary needs, and any additional notes. Here's an example. Jane and John Doe will be sharing a room, and Jane Doe's a vegetarian. You don't need to fill out the room number. This will be filled out by the hotel. In this example, we're holding the following configuration. This information is given to us by the hotel and will be filled out here. 10 rooms with one bed for single or double occupancy and 20 rooms with two beds for double occupancy. Now on your web payment site, which you've probably watched a tutorial on already, showed us that as of August 7th, 2019, three of your travelers selected for a single room. We've added them to the single tab below. Next, I'm going to show you the summary tab. My cursor is over it now, and I'm going to click on it. This will show you information about your tour here, where your concert tour or festival is going, and the dates you're traveling. All of this information pulls from the tabs indicated, so nothing needs to be added to this page. It's just a general summary. Next, we're going to the Singles tab. Down below, we'll click on that. And here are your three people that have indicated that they wanted a single room. One is for the director, which we've put in the notes section. And one is gluten-free, which we've also pulled, and they filled it out on the web payment site. So we wanted to let them know about that here for you. And if somebody wanted to join, we could add their name here. So if Jody Wick wanted a single room, we could add her to a single room and adjust as seen right here. All you need to do is update a four there, hit enter, and then that auto populates for you. Next, we're going over to the doubles tab. We'll click on doubles below, and we have a couple that wants to share a bed. We put one here, and we add their names like this. You would write their full names, but just as an example, this is a little faster. And if they had a dietary need, you'd add that here. If you had some friends that were traveling and they wanted two beds, you would add their names here. And there we go. Here, you can see the number of rooms, two, we would write two here. And that indicates the four people that will be staying in those two rooms. Next, you go to triple. And if you have a triple, we indicated that there were no at this hotel, just ask your coordinator. She'll help you out, or he'll help you out. And that's everything. You'll see that the summary page pulled all the numbers as you filled them in. And it gives us a nice number of the total number of people that are traveling with you and the total number of rooms. Thank you for watching this tutorial.